As you might have heard, the shortest distance between two points is a straight line. But in the case of aviation, airplanes don't travel in a straight line at all. And in this video, we're going to be taking a deep dive into airplanes navigation and unravel the many interesting reasons behind why airplanes fly these seemingly strange flight paths. When we look at a flight map during a long distance trip, it's common to notice that the plane follows a curved path instead of a straight line between two points. This is easily noticed on flights between Europe and the United States, where airplanes fly over Greenland and northern Canada instead of following what seems to be a shorter route from point A to B. This curved path happens for a very simple reason, but it's often overlooked, and that is that the Earth is spherical and not flat. We usually see these curved flight paths on maps, more specifically the Mercator projection, a map which distorts certain proportions of Earth. So while on a map the flight path might look curved, if you actually looked at it on a globe, you would notice that it's actually the most direct route. And on the contrary, a straight line on a map will look curved and longer on a globe. That being said, there are certain map projections, like the Lambert Conformal Conic projection, which show straight lines as the most direct routes accurately. But these map projections are much less common to find. Anyway, back to the Mercator projection, a curved flight path is often called a great circle route, but it's also known as orthodromic navigation which basically means that if you took a line of the flight path and cut Earth in half on that line, you'd be left with two evenly sized halves of Earth. On the other hand, a straight line on the map crosses all the meridians at the same angle, and is therefore called a rum line, or sometimes referred to as loxodromic navigation. But that isn't the only reason airplanes don't fly in straight lines, and the reason I just mentioned only concerns long flights anyway. So what's the explanation for all the other flights that zigzag their way towards their destination? Well, I'll get into that after this short message from today's sponsor. Aircraft Vibes makes amazing home and office decorations for aviation lovers. They create beautiful silhouettes of airplanes which you can hang up on your wall or put on a shelf or a desk. They have dozens of different airplanes to choose from and come in many different sizes. But even if you don't find the right aircraft that you're looking for, they take custom orders. So you can submit any aircraft of your choice and have it made just for you. If you want to get your very own aircraft silhouette from them, go to aircraftvibes.com. The link will be in the description. Anyways, let's get back to the video and talk about the next reason why airplanes fly strange routes, and that reason is wind. Earth's atmosphere is dynamic, with varying wind patterns at different altitudes and latitudes. Pilots and air traffic controllers take advantage of these wind patterns to optimize flight routes. Airlines use air currents, known as jet streams, to determine flight paths. Jet streams can help push an airplane to its destination faster, while also allowing it to save fuel on the trip. Jet streams can be found all over the world, and usually sit near the top of the troposphere, which is the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere, and the place where the most weather occurs. The top of the troposphere, also known as the tropopause, fluctuates between 4 and 12 miles above the Earth's surface. This fluctuation results in rapid shifts in air temperature and air pressure, which creates a wind tunnel that can reach speeds of over 200 miles per hour. These extreme speeds are most common during the winter months, when the temperature difference is the greatest. Sticking on the same theme of meteorology, let's talk about turbulence and significant weather. Bad weather can often lead airplanes to take longer routes. If pilots find weather which poses a danger to the flight, they'll have to circumnavigate this bad weather to make sure everything goes smoothly. Sometimes this comes at the cost of extending the flight time a bit, but safety is always the primary concern of any flight. The last reason behind airplanes taking strange flight paths is due to air traffic control, commonly referred to as ATC. Controllers have to deal with several airplanes in their airspace. If every airplane is flying directly to their destinations, it would be extremely challenging for the controller to make sure proper separation is maintained between all the airplanes. For this reason, airplanes fly through designated airways, which are basically like invisible roads in the sky. These airways connect several waypoints placed all over the world. Airplanes usually fly through these waypoints, which helps air traffic control keep the planes flying in predictable ways. Lastly, when airplanes come in to land at an airport, they come in from all sorts of different directions, depending on where they are flying from. Airports often implement standard routing to lead all airplanes into the airport in an organized manner. These standard routes are called STARS, short for Standard Terminal Arrivals. The same standard routes exist for departing aircraft, but instead they're called SIDS, Standard Instrument Departures. So the next time you gaze out of an airplane window and why your airplane is going left and right and not just flying straight, think about all the interesting factors which guide your airplane to the destination. Thank you for watching this video, I hope you've had your questions answered, and if not, be sure to leave a comment below and I'll answer your questions there. Feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to learn more about the fascinating world of aviation.